what's going on everyone commander crunch here and today i just have a little tour and review of my asus g752 gaming laptop um i got this about a week ago and i've been using it for a little while and i really love the laptop um so i just wanted to share some of my thoughts with it so starting off with the exterior tour we have this really nice brush metal finish on this laptop um you have the nice republic of gamers logo right here um and then this logo right here that lights up orange and then these strips light up orange as well um, so if we go to the back of the laptop we'll just turn this thing around and you'll see we got some nice vents on the back for all the cooling one side is for uh, CPU and one side is for GPU don't know which one is which but I know that's the layout and there's also this orange LED strip that you can't see because the computer's not on at the moment um, and when you bring the computer up you'll see there's a big window there where you can see through and you'll see some heat pipes um, and other components and then there's this open, easy to open um, drawer right here to access uh, RAM, uh, the 2.5 inch SATA drive and two M.2 slots as well. So if you go to the side for IO you'll see we have a DVD burner and you know writer. Uh, we have an SD card slot two USB 3.0 ports and a Kensington lock. You come to this side, we'll unplug this thing here. Um, this side we have two more USB 3.0 ports right here. Display port, HDMI 2.0 I believe, I'm not positive on that one. Ethernet, USB Type-C with Thunderbolt, uh, which is a pretty big deal for me actually. Um, and then assorted input jacks for audio um, and then obviously the power uh, plug it includes a 180 watt power supply which I think is pretty beefy for a laptop especially one like this because um, I got kind of the mid-range G752 or like the low-end one um, so if we open up the laptop here we have a 17.3 inch matte IPS display 75 Hertz with G-Sync um, I mean, it's a pretty great screen. You'll, I mean, you can't really tell on camera once it turns on, but it, I love this screen. It's very nice, and I love G-Sync. That's the whole reason I bought this laptop. Um, you got this nice Asus logo here. I think it's a 1080, 1080p webcam right here, and then down below, we have a nice full-size keyboard. We have the number pad on the side. Um, you have some macro keys up here and a record button. Um, this also lights up uh, with three-stage uh, red LEDs. Down below we have a nice big touchpad. Um, if you have seen my video on my Asus G46 VW that I used to have, um, this is a very similar touchpad layout to that. And they have these amazing buttons, and I love these buttons. Um, that's something I hated about. Um, I had an HP Omen before this computer, and the buttons were awful because it was the kind of like you click down on the touchpad like a MacBook, and I, I hate that kind of touchpad. So I love these big clicky buttons. Over here, sorry, we have to get in focus. You can see the stickers for um, it's a Core i7 6700HQ and a GeForce GTX 965M. Um, didn't really go for the 970M or the 980M because this is my secondary computer, obviously. Um, but it's pretty nice to get me through the summer. Um, I'm currently on a boat, if you can't really tell. It's kind of a little sketchy, or not sketchy, but small. Um, so you have the Republic of Gamers logo here. We have a nice kind of like textured pattern here power button and another republic of gamers logo so standard this laptop comes with a one terabyte 7200 rpm hard drive i have upgraded that to a uh, 128 gig samsung sm951 ssd um, along with the hard drive for games uh i just needed an ssd and um so this is a PC, uh, PCI Express, not NVMe, but it's AHCI. Um, that's the one, I think that's the only one these things take. I called ASUS to get to make sure I was getting the right SSD. Um, but that's what it takes, and uh, it boots up pretty quickly. Not as fast as my desktop, or around the same, which is kind of surprising because this thing, I did a write test, and it it's fifteen hundred megabytes per second read and about a thousand write. So I don't know, but here's a here's a cold boot. There's the Republic Gamers logo there. And there it is. 
And here we are. So you can see um, the big bright screen. This is all the way up. Down here is the big red backlit keyboard. And if we shut the screen, you'll see. Oh, well, we'll get that open. There we go. There's the red logo or the orange logos. And on the back, I'll turn this around one more time. Should be able to see. Oh, there's the orange strip at the back. So Asus has always done a pretty decent job of um, kind of nice accent lighting on their laptops. Um, I love this one. You can see the, the screen is nice and bright and vibrant. This is the new the New York City skyline I have here. Um, so yeah, it's Windows 10, obviously, and uh, so we'll get into some gameplay. And before that, I just wanted to say um, temperatures. I I haven't captured the temperatures um, in a screen capture. The GPU never goes above 70 degrees Celsius, and it's overclocked to oh, I think it's plus 135 on the megahertz uh, for the core. Um, and the CPU gets right around 80 at the max. Um, that's what I've seen. Uh, and that's like with pretty poor, that's like sitting on a bed. So this has really good ventilation and it never changes like noise levels. Even when you're gaming, it's basically the same um, amount of noise coming out of the fans as just idle. It's not much louder. That's another thing I hated about my HP Omen is it got super loud because it was a thin and light. It got super loud when I was gaming. So we'll hop into some gameplay and show you how it runs. sailed aboard the Nagel Fair, a giant longship that traveled between worlds. As Gels had advised, the Witcher set out to find the Sunstone, an artifact needed to draw Aerodin into a trap. That's it, Roach. You choke to death on three pounds of steel. Honor in the fatherland.
Broadcasting from an undisclosed location for a radio free kid. Now, a while ago, I asked you guys to send in your thoughts on what you think Bagan Khan did in his court fight. Now, I thought this would be a fun text. I reached out to the fans.
Run really fast down a highway so the wind is whipping through your hair. And people are shouting at us, you're crazy. And yes, yes, we are. So keep it on low speed. <laughs> Boss, some wheels? I can bring them around. I'll get back to it then. <laughs> 